Well, you're, you're looking at a series of uh, experimental sculptural instruments that I call poem phones. Um, they are um, uh, instruments that you could play if it weren't for COVID right now, and you came into the gallery, you could actually touch these and hear what they sound like. They're meant to translate the act of typing into a musical. I'm interested in acts of translation, uh, what happens when uh, text is interpreted by different people, different individuals, um, what it might sound like if it's released from the confines of language and becomes something that's more like singing or something that's more musical. Um, so these are based on uh, an actual instrument called the umbira, uh, which is from Zimbabwe. It's actually a very ancient instrument, maybe two or 3,000 years old. It's got a, a relationship to um, uh, communication within villages and within families. Um, I got really interested in the, the tuning systems, um, which are not based on Western tuning. They're based on uh, what's called outlaw tuning, which means that the intervals between tones are not regular. So if there are, as in the case of an old umbira, 26 keys, um, the tonal, tonal shift between each of the 26 keys is not regular. It could be um, just about anything in terms of a shift from one tone to the next. So I used that to replace the 26 keys of a typewriter keyboard uh, with notes or planks that you can plunk. Um, and those intervals um, I have tuned relative to um, a collaborator for whom I've made the instrument. So each of these is tuned to the voice or the aesthetic of a musician or a writer or another artist that's willing to collaborate with me and compose. Um, so every one of them has a unique voice. Uh, some of the voices are more melancholy. Some of the voices are more um, bright and high. Um, some of the voices are more um, uh, widespread and kind of all over the place. It just depends on the aesthetic of the author who I'm working with. <laughs> 